Hey everyone, so today I got my NASA shirt ready because we're going to be reviewing the Discovery Space Projector. Now this is basically a home planetarium, which I think is pretty cool. But um, I also thought since Halloween is coming up, and this is super cheap, I got it on clearance for $9.99 from Bed Bath & Beyond. But I thought since Halloween was coming up that it might actually be useful in some of your displays. I know you guys set your house up and decorate it for Halloween. Um, so basically what it is, is it's this projector and one side of it, you flip it and it basically projects stars on your ceiling or on the wall or whatever. And the other side of it, you flip it over and you put these little discs in it and it has pictures of like the universe and planets and moons and things like that. So first thing I'm going to do is show you what comes with it. So I already opened this so I can put batteries in it because you need three AA batteries to make it work. But this is the actual projector itself. So you can see it's got a switch here for the star shooter. And it's got a switch for the discs that you put in it. So that's the actual thing itself and it just kind of stands like that and it comes with these instructions which basically show you the different things that it does um, the top dome here is what shows stars onto your ceiling and we also have this bottom piece which you can flip up and that will um, project pictures of stars and things like that up onto your ceiling. So you got this, which is the projector itself, um, and then you have the instructions. You also have this right here is a set of discs that come with it. And I guess you slide them, I don't actually get that far, but you, you slide these into the Whoops, I lost one already. You slide them in here. Let's see, I guess like that. You slide them in there, and then it shoots it up onto the ceiling, sort of like those old things. You used to put them up to your face, and you would click it, and it had that big disc in it, and you clicked it, and it would show you pictures. Viewfinder, remember them? So that's that and then the back of it of course is you need to have one of those little screwdrivers so you can open that which drove me crazy because it took me about an hour to find something that would fit in it to open it because of course I couldn't find the right screwdriver but um, that's basically all that comes with it and the rest of it is just packing materials things like that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it and I'm going to first check out the star thing. You know what though, we're really close. Maybe I'll put it on the floor. Let me, I'm going to move you guys down to the floor. Okay. So, let's put this guy down here. And I'm going to turn off the light. And then what I'll do is I'm going to turn the light off. <laughs> And then I'm going to shoot the camera up so we can see what the, um, what the star part of it looks like, alright? Oh, I should probably look and see where the switch is before I turn it. Let me turn it on. So the star part of it is on. So let's get that all set up. And let's turn off the light. Oh, oh this is actually pretty cool. I'm hoping that you can see... It shoots stars onto the wall and onto the ceiling. I'm just going to lift this up so you guys could see. Hope that you could see it. But that's actually pretty cool. And then, um, you know, you could also put it on the wall. So that was the ceiling. This is the wall, what it looks like if it's on the wall. 
and it's pretty cool. Just like a special effect type of thing. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can hopefully see it a little bit better. Okay, so that is what it looks like on the wall. That's obviously the same thing that it looks like on the ceiling, and I think it's actually pretty cool. So now, let me put it, I'm going to turn the light back on. I want to get it back onto the floor so I can, all right, so then if you want to do the disc, you flip the legs down, flip the legs down, and then what you're going to do is, somewhere on here, right here, it's the switch to flip it up so that you can turn the projector part of it on. Oh, just blasted it right into my face. Now, the thing I don't know is there's a piece here that says you have to twist it to... Um, it says that you have to twist it so that you can, like, make it clear on the ceiling. But let me just get the light off. And then I'll show you what it looks like up on the ceiling. All right. First, let me adjust it. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this one is a picture of the spacecraft. Let's see, can you guys see that? And you can just adjust it like that. You know what, I'm gonna put you guys back up on the shelf. So give me one second. I'm going to put you back up on the shelf and then I think that will make it a lot easier for you to see what's actually going on. Let's just put you like that. And I will put the thing right in the middle here so you guys can see everything real clear. Okay. Alright. So this one is the spaceship. And I'm trying, really desperately trying to figure out how to switch it. But that, as you can see, is just like a picture of the space shuttle. And then there's a bunch of other pictures in this particular one. And then they also have, there's a whole nother one where there's pictures of just stars and things like that. So let me move you guys up here a little bit more so you can see what's going on. Okay, so that, now I'm going to switch it, okay, so that is the space shuttle, and now I'm going to switch it just like the Viewmaster, that is an astronaut, that's an astronaut right there, just want to see if I can make it a little bit more clear, oh yeah, there we go. That's an astronaut. That's the space shuttle. That's a picture of an eclipse. That is another picture of a space shuttle. That is a satellite. It's a picture of a satellite going past, I think it's Mars. That's a picture of the spaceship taking off. There's another picture of the spaceship and the astronaut and the other thing. Okay. So, all in all, I think it's pretty cool. It was inexpensive. I think if you buy it for the full price, it's like 20 bucks. Um, I got it on sale at Bed Bath & Beyond for like $10. Um, but if you like space or if you have kids that are interested in NASA kind of stuff or whatever, it might be cool maybe for a birthday party. Um, once you kind of get the hang of it, I mean, obviously, <laughs> it took me a little while to get used to how to set it up and everything. But once you get the hang of it, it's, I could imagine that if you wanted to do something like this for a birthday party or even if you wanted to use it as some kind of decoration for maybe Halloween or an event or whatever... Um, it might be a cool idea for that too. Plus, if you just love space, 
and you love NASA like I do, uh, it's just pretty cool to have your own planetarium in your house. So, um, yeah. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for watching. And gals, I appreciate it. See you later.